As you can probably guess, we're going to be testing out all the games on my PlayStation 3 to see if they still work. Please note, I will be including the Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1 DVD to see if that still works. I know, it's not a PS3 game, but still. I wanted to know if it still works. I know, the video is in 30 frames per second because you can only ca catch up to 10 minutes of video with 60 frames per second. So the first game going in there is Pictionary Ultimate Edition. Don't know if that still works. In it goes. It's stuck. Don't worry, the PlayStation is just fine. It has this issue sometimes. So it seems like it's working just fine. It... All the games like this just have a lot of logos to go through. It works, we just need a usual game tablet. I think they've been discontinued, so obviously we can't play this game. Next game is Truth or Lies. Obviously we need a microphone for this, but obviously I don't have one, and my brother won't let me use his. So, yeah. So Truth or Lies didn't go so well because obviously the PlayStation didn't have the... It's just decided to turn itself off there. For some reason there, the TV went into standby mode somehow and it somehow turned off the PlayStation. Anyways, this is the Lord of the Rings Conquest. Let's see if this still works. It has a lot of logos. Still works. Tomb Raider Combat Strike Edition, that was the only Tomb Raider at the time of getting the PlayStation because I got this in 2018, I believe. And Tomb Raider Anniversary and Tomb Raider Legend, which I had on the Xbox 360, were discontinued and they didn't sell them anywhere anymore. Thought it had stopped for a second. Uh, it needs to synchronise all the data because I haven't played some of these games in a while, so.
Oh, and it just glitched out for a second there. Don't know if that's part of the game or if that's the actual PlayStation glitching out. But anyway, Tomb Raider works. Just about. Anyways, the next disc is Prince of Persia, The Forgotten Sands. Don't know why the discs keep getting stuck on this PlayStation. Don't know if it's like the discs themselves or the PlayStation is getting faulty as it gets older. I notice my Xbox 360 sometimes doesn't read discs as well. Uh, it needs to install the game. The game's just about finished installing and... Oh, it needs to load the trophies. Prince of Persia works. That's the Ubisoft logo you used to see on, like, Xbox One and PS4 when they just came out. The next one is Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Now this is this is the one that isn't the PS3 game, but I want to see if the DVD works. Because it works on my DVD player, I wanted to see if my PS3 still runs DVDs as if it was new. Because bear this in mind, the PS3 is actually 17 years old this year. As always, the privacy screen, as on most DVDs. So yeah, it still works. Here's the language selection. United Kingdom, of course. I forgot there was adverts on this. Okay, so I've skipped through most of the adverts and it still works. So yeah. So now we're moving on to the games for more younger audiences. Here's Lego Harry Potter years 5 to 7. I got years 5 to 7 for the PS3 because for the Xbox 360 I already had years 1 to 4. But the data on my Xbox 360 got corrupted. But not but that's not all bad because I still have years one to four on my Nintendo Switch. This is the one that takes the while to load. There we go. Warner Brothers logo, and yes, I think this game still works. I think this is just like the opening cutscene or whatever. I think you can skip the TT logo. Yes, you can. With most logo games, you can. So yeah, here's the title screen. Yes, Lego Harry Potter still works. Next game. Now I've got Lego Star Wars 3 for the PlayStation 3. There we go. I had Lego Star Wars, this, the complete saga on the Xbox 360, which they remade into the Skywalker saga for the like, the Xbox Series X and S. And it was basically Lego Star Wars 1 and 2 in the same disc. Lego Star Wars 3 is different, however. The 
PlayStation 3, I don't know if any of, I don't know if this is true, but I've heard the PlayStation 3 takes slightly longer to load than the Xbox 360. So yeah, Lego Star Wars still works. Next game. We've only got three more games to test out. This is Lego Marvel Super Heroes. It has to sink the trophies. There we go. I reckon this is the TT logo. I think so. So yeah, Marvel Super Hero still works. Second to last game, guys, Terraria. Now, I actually played this recently, and it still works. Right, I've got to be quick filming this because I'm going to Glebe Farm for dinner. Anyways, this is Terraria. And yes, of course, it's going to work because it worked a few, like, months ago when I played it recently. So yeah, here's the splash screen. I'm going to take out the disc now. And the last game is Minecraft. Of course you know it's Minecraft because Minecraft is the, is the game I play mostly on this thing. All the time. Here's Minecraft. So yeah, pretty much every game on my PlayStation still works. Let me tell you, my Xbox 360 used to shred some discs and they wouldn't work at all after that. Like with Lego The Hobbit that I have on this thing here, digitally. Once I was playing it and my Xbox 360 shredded the disc, and I think it did that with the copy of Lego Star Wars as well. So anyway, I'm going to end the video right here because I've got to go.